Mattapan, um, I'll be Roxbury, Mattapan, Dorchester, um, downtown, and I'll see people wearing that like pants to their um to their knees, literally. Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know if they like the pants are too small or if <laughs> he don't he, he don't wear belts and like that's crazy because. It's just nasty. Like, yeah. If you're gonna wear pants like that, wear shorts. Mm. But but what about when you get on the bus and you're actually holding on, right? And you 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 and the bus is really full, and you're holding on, and somebody's sitting in that seat right there, and your pants are down here, and you just got all the you know the and pants butt, and, and everything's all you know. It's just not a it's not a straight ride, and you're just trying to balance. And this person got to really indulge this whole visual of oh my god and then sometimes they're not clean pants <laughs> underneath the pants uh -huh. so you're like and you, make you know and it's like excuse me and then if somebody says something you think it's okay for somebody to kind of respond like what you talking about like you know like this is okay do you think they should and get no. in defense mode should yeah. they get defensive no or should they just pull their pants up they should just pull their pants up that's just nasty you got your butt waving in somebody else's face while you on the bus that's nasty. Thank That's you. like in school when the teacher bends over to help another student and you like you're sitting right there. <laughs> they're bending over and they're just just your face. Down, like, <laughs> That's nasty. You see the summer boy butt, right? Yeah. <laughs> As my baby would say, they butt trap. <laughs> I just want to know from you, Deshaya. Deshaya, you're a young lady in the, in the world today growing up in this environment. For you as a young lady, soon to be woman, when you see these young men doing that, how does that make you feel? Um, I don't have a feeling. It, isn't, you don't it don't look feeling. right. It doesn't look right. And it, it, it stinks to me. And every time I see somebody on the streets and their pants is down, I always make that my way to say, pull your pants up. I don't care who it is. I'm a, pull your pants up. P -p pull your pants up. But don't it trip you out when you get the young men that have manners? Like, hi, how are you? And then you just happen to go, and it's like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Well, why are your pants yeah. in if you got some type of man? You know I what I mean? say that? And it's so funny that you mentioned that because <laughs> I was at the dentist one day, and the, a guy thought he was going to, you know, get my number. He approached me, and he approached me with his pants. He Come on did now. That, so I, I had to that. say to him, like I said just now, pull your pants off. Why are you, your pants off you behind like that? Oh, I was just digging in my pockets. I, uh, but well, I'm digging the other way. You know what I mean? I'm digging the other way. I, I, I hear that. I'm over it. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, it just it disgusts me all the way completely. And I can't stand to watch somebody walking around with their, with their underwear showing. And then what happens when they try to run? They trip. <laughs> I know the police love this, and I ain't got to run that fast. <laughs> you know? So, do you guys have friends that wear their pants down? Yep. Yeah. So, do you guys make mention to the, you know, make mention to them about the their attire, their, um, their way of dress? There's a lot of people in my school that do that, mm -hmm. and um, I, I ask them if like, uh, like I'll see them sagging their pants, and I'll be like, I'll come up to them and ask them like, I'll I'll say like, so you're open to men? <laughs> oh, good for you. Mm. And he, they like, they'll be like, what are you talking about? And I'm like. That's what that's what um sagging your pants mean. Like you, Absolutely. It means like you're open for men. Like you're free to for mm -hmm. a male to do whatever they yeah. want to you. You know that makes you like you what? Yeah, my. And where does that come <laughs> from? Jail. Yeah. Yes, yes, Good yes. Point. Keep that up. Maybe you should do a whole a whole page or something on Facebook, okay? Maybe you should do that. So we are wrapping it up. We have to wrap things up. We are getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to our time. And which that is very unfortunate because I wish I could just sit here and just speak all day, 24-7, every day, every hour of the week. But I can't. I got things to do, and I'm sure you guys have something to do, too. So I do. Would li I would like to. We're not going to have a juicy seat, but I do have a gift for both of you, of you guys. So if the Shaya doesn't mind going to go grab the gifts, please. And then, you know, making sure that everything's off, then everything would be just fine on, <laughs> on this set. Everybody should be lovely. Everybody should be fine. Everybody should be grateful. And uh, then they okay. can do what they have to do for the day. Because it's a beautiful day out. The sun's shining. The snow stopped for now. For now. Mother Nature is taking a break on us. Right? <laughs> because, 
Huh? See you She'll next come year. back. She'll come back, right? She'll be back next weekend. No. Yeah. No. She'll be back next weekend. We're still in we're still in New England. Yes, we we're are. still in New Winter. So, you know, remember the April Fool snowstorm we had. Oh my. Right? So just 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 know that we're in for a treat at some point. Yeah. Maybe it may be June first. You never know. You know Girl, don't don't don't. Uh, don't. I'm just saying. Shh. You may be listening. <laughs> <laughs> so please, Troy, what are your plans if you if basketball isn't it? Um, well, plan B, NFL. Like, um, I've been, I, I played football before I played basketball. Mm -hmm. And like, it's just like, football is, is just like in my blood. Mm. Basketball is too. Um. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's for you, bro. Oh, cute. That's for you. And that is for you. You guys, I just have to show my appreciation for you guys That's very for being vibrant. here. Very, Thank you very, very vibrant. much. You're yeah, very welcome. Very this welcome. This definitely uh, means a lot to me. And I want this too. I want this too. Because we know mm -hmm. in our struggles today, yes, sometimes family don't understand. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, it's and okay. then there's always the extended family that, ex that understands more, right? Very thankful for my friends. Yes. <laughs> and Troy, that's for you. I would love for you to have that. That is for you. Those are something that I'm sure that you can love when you get your grown man status on. Well, you know, grown some cufflinks. You know? Oh, yeah. So you we'll discuss that, that later. So with that being said, we are at, we are out of time. We're out of time. I wanna sit, I wanna talk, but I can't. I have to go. Okay? <laughs> and with that being said, I have to see you next time on the Let Us Talk About It Two show. With some more guests. Of and I want to thank our guests right now. I want to thank our PNO. Everybody did an awesome job. Um, um, see you next time. Get out of here. Go get some water. Whatever you're going to do, do it.